Hello, and welcome back to the Dio Tween tutorial series. This is part 2. Today we're going to take your animations to the next level. We'll learn how to make movements feel smooth, bouncy, or dynamic using Dio Tween's ease functions. And we'll also add some delay to our animations to make them feel more natural and polished. To choose the right easing type for your animation, you can visit the official Dio Tween easing reference at easings.net. It's a great visual tool that shows how each ease behaves in motion. Alright, now let's try adding some ease to our animation. We'll apply an ease type to see how it changes the movement style of our object. Let's try out a few more ease types and see how each one feels. We'll keep the same animation moving to the right but apply different ease functions. That's all for part 2. Today we focused on how different ease types can change the feel of your animations. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in part 3 where we'll go over animation delays and more.